Good morning, people. How are you today? I'm in the bathroom with another bathroom series. But, um, trying to get my hair right and moisturized before I have to go to work today at 5. And I'm using this to control my fizz, and I'll be letting you know how this works. How, you know, how it's doing in my hair. But that's not the reason why I'm coming to you with this video. I'm coming to you with this video because my husband just emailed me, well, not emailed me, sent me in a text about Ice Cube not being invited to the Oscars and the cast of Straight Outta Compton were not invited to the Oscars. So, um, well, something about in order to be invited, you have to be nominated to be invited to the Oscars. I'm pretty sure all those people that sit in the audience are not actors or screenwriters or whatever you want to call it and they come and they bring their family I'm pretty sure all of them are not nominated in that audience but, but I ain't going to you know, say nothing else about that but um, as I was reading it I, and I saw the video Ice Cube um, you know they was, he was coming out the airport and TMZ of course or whoever asked him how does he feel about not being not being invited to the Oscars or being nominated. And Ice Cube being the brother he is, he said, and he was very unbothered, very unbothered. I love that brother. He said, I'm not worried about the Oscars. And I know he's not worried about the Oscars because, let me tell you something. Ice Cube has came so far. He has come a long way. He has come a long way. And to me, Straight Outta Compton was a story about them. You know, straight out of Compton. When I first heard Ice Cube, when I first seen Ice Cube, I was like, I'm scared of this brother. Not even live nowhere near him. I was like, wow. But he came a long way. I love Ice Cube. I really do. And I think everybody in straight out of Compton did a good job as well. Now, I'm going to say this. We don't need validation. And when I say we, I mean people of skin color, I mean the Latinos, I mean whoever is small coming up. We do not, if you know your work is good, you don't need validation. You don't need a little statue man to tell you, oh, you you good, you're going to get more work. Because guess what? People who have gotten those awards still has not gotten any work that I consider to be, you know, top notch. Some of them, they get these Oscars and then guess what? Roles don't come to them for a while. You get what I'm saying? So, to me, the Oscars ain't shit. And I'm just put. I don't watch the Oscars. I don't watch it. I have not watched the Oscars since I was a little girl. I do not watch them for what? What am I watching it for? What am I, why am I watching? What am I getting out of that? Um, I just want to say to all the actors and actresses out there, you know, um, keep doing your thing. Keep doing your thing because you don't need a statue to tell you how good you are. And just for people in school, you don't need a piece of paper to say that you're on the honor roll to know that you're a good student or you do well in school. You get what I'm saying? To me, those are things you don't need valid you you don't need validation from anybody. If you know you're doing well in school and you know you one hundred percent, you know you A plus that's all of that. That's all, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. These actresses and actors, they feel that, you know, they, their work is not great because they don't get an Oscar. No, it's not that. Your work is wonderful. And you don't need, like I said, a little gold statue to tell you how great and how wonderful your work is. Um... There's so many underrated actors out there. It's ridiculous. Look at Sanaa Lathan. She's a wonderful actress. I love her. And she plays in some very good movies. Nia Long. Who, Morris Chestnut. Um, who else? I had her on the top of my... Even Jill Scott is a wonderful actress. And she's a, you know, she's a musician, but she's a wonderful actress. Um, Queen Latifah is a wonderful actress, and she come from, you know, like I said, she's a, you know, a singer and everything as well, rapper, singer, whatever. Um, there's so many. It is so many. Lorenz Tate, he is a wonderful 
wonderful for I love love Jones. I love anything Lorenz Tate is in. Um not so long ago Lorenz Tate was in a series on USA called Rush. That was a wonderful series. I love that show. It could have gotten a season two, but for some reason it didn't get a season two. But the guy that played Dr. Rush will be starring in a show, I think, on CBS or NBC called Lucifer. Hmm. Um, it's just so many underrated actors out there. You get what I'm saying? Like with, you know, Viola Davis, she came a long way. She got her Oscar, but she's playing the help. If you can read between the lines, you get what I'm saying. She's playing the help. Um, it's just like, you know, to me, I, I'm, I, I don't care for the Oscars. I never did. It doesn't do anything for me. So, I'm just going to end it saying, if you know what your work is worth, you don't need validation from nobody. If you know you are putting movies out there or putting books out there and it's making number one and you... That's it. You don't need nothing from nobody who sit around a board and say, okay, well, we're going to nominate this. You don't need that. And I wouldn't waste my time boycotting the Oscars for what? It's not going to do anything. It's not going to do anything. So don't even waste your time. Just take all that energy and focus on something for us. That's all you got to do. So I'm out because um, sure, the Oscars... If I could have it my way, I woke up in like this. Kaboom! Phone Jones is up in the room. Now let me stop. <laughs> they would kick me out so fast. But anyway, you don't need validation. And that's going to be the name of this video. Ice Cube is unbothered. That's what I'm going to call it. Ice Cube is unbothered. So I will talk to you guys later.